Libra. Welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be a general reading for the zodiac sign of Libra. It will not resonate with all of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. This is going to be for any Libra placement or propensity that is important to you. Contact information and personal reading information are all on my website. The link for that is in the description box. This is going to be for the last week of December, final week of the year, although time is not linear. We are all on different timelines. At the end, I will also pull some Oracle cards for you just to give you some more guidance for the week. And we're jumping right in. Four cards out. What else do we have for Libra last week of December, final week of the year? One more card for Libra, please. I do only take jumpers. So patience is necessary. Okay. Beautiful. Bottom of the deck, we're looking at the Five of Wands. Conflict, drama, competition. Whether this is um, you and other people, you within yourself, battling, you know, pros and cons. Should I, shouldn't I? Conflicted with something. Or this is just physically people around you. You know, trying to compete, jealousy, bit pettiness, that sort of thing, right? Or you're in some sort of competitive environment. It will be different for all of you, but definitely a fox in the hen house is what I just heard. Number five card, energy of change as well. In your past position, we're starting with Major Arcana, the hangman and the six of wands, Virgo energy there. No, why do I always say Virgo? Pisces energy there could be relevant to you with that hangman energy, but definitely after a time of stagnation, it seems. Okay, there is some victory to be had. There is some success coming your way. This could either just be starting. Time is different for all of us as well. This could be happening in your future, but definitely some stagnation, some standstill energy here. Could be within business, could be within love, could be within life, right? Feeling very stuck, feeling like nothing exciting is happening. But it's never for no reason, right? This time of pause, this time of stagnancy was for you to reflect, for you to get clear on what it is you're trying to accomplish in the first place, right? To change your perspective on certain things, right? And it looks like that time's about to be over. So victory, public recognition here with that six of wands, admiration. So this was not in vain, whatever this stagnant period was, whatever this halt was, wherever there was non-movement in your life. There's definitely some success or victory to be gained over that. Progression as well, going from the five of wands to the six of wands. So there could have definitely been some sort of drama issues in the past that you maybe pulled away from. Family, friends, relationship, work. And because of this pulling away, stepping within yourself, victory to be had. Two sixes here as well. In your present position, we're coming in with the six of pentacles and the king of cups. Water sign energy with that King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio could be important to you. But equal give and take. More progression going from a five to the six, two sixes. Six, six could be relevant. Right? Six days, six weeks. Something could be happening. Equal give and take. Definitely could be getting paid with your worth. If this is a friendship or a personal relationship situation, definitely could be coming into more balance. King of Cups is someone that has a lot of emotions. This could be you. This could be someone that you are connected to. This could definitely be relating to one situation in particular. Maybe a situation where there was some conflict between the two of you. And then and then came the break. Both of you needed to go your separate ways, see things differently. And now either both of you or some, one of you is ready to balance this out. Because there are a lot of emotions connected to this situation. The King of Cups maybe. The expression of it is not very outward. King of Cups is not really an expressive person, but the emotions go deep. Right? The emotions go deep. So someone definitely wants to balance out something that was maybe unbalanced in the future. Definitely. Someone felt burdened by this sort of whatever situation was causing conflict and drama for you. It was too much. This is like a full zero to 100 real quick. But the good thing is, it's an end to this sort of energy. Right? Nine of pentacles, nine of cups at the bottom of that. And 
wish fulfillment, and I also see the Ten of Ten of Pentacles. So whatever pause, whatever stagnancy, whatever was not moving, money, life, romance, it's about to get going. It's about to be really successful. You no longer will be alone. Oh my gosh. I can just keep going. Queen of Cups underneath that. Beautiful energy coming up for you, Libra. Future energy, major arcana, temperance energy, Sagittarius energy definitely could be happening, starting to happen in this season. And there definitely is some sort of gesture here, some sort of offer, some sort of communication with that Knight of Cups. Definitely could be dealing with a water sign. More balancing energy with that Sagittarius energy. So there's definitely some sort of imbalance here. Was some sort of imbalance, is some sort of imbalance. Right, that's getting ready to be balanced out. Could just be within you. Could have been confused on what you wanted to do, where you want to go, who you want to be with. Whatever sort of uh, friction that there was, it seems like it's about to smooth out. But there definitely is someone else that this is involving. Or it definitely could just be you. Being more open. Being more, you know, after this break, the break definitely did you good in whatever situation this is. Could be employment, you know, haven't been working for a while. Let's get some oracles for you, Libra. Last week of December. What does Libra need to know? Libra. One, two, two major arcana. Confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. Get Getting your confidence back. Definitely. Getting your confidence back. Maybe this is what kept you stagnant. Definitely whatever past trauma that you were dealing with that was burdening you definitely played a role on your confidence, on your ability to believe in your ability to create. Stella's getting her groove back. Confidence is your key to success. Work through your fears at the bottom of the deck. Libra. Oops. Okay. Anna, Grandmother of Jesus, Seeding the Light, Laying the Foundations, Divine Plan. Absolutely, as I said, whatever this break was, whatever this stagnancy, however long it could have been, it could have been six years, six months. Definitely was a period where things were not moving or going the way you would have liked them to go, definitely. But it was all, there was all a greater purpose behind it. There was all a bigger plan. You had some lessons to learn. You had to get comfortable within your own skin, get your confidence back away from whatever conflict you were dealing with. It's all coming together. Divine plan. Laying the foundations. Okay. Libra. Last week of December, what do they need to know? Seahorse spirit number 53, which is an eight. Watch and wait. I think you've already done the waiting. Now it's about time to see what's going on. What's what's about to because it's beautiful. Trust me. Once you get once you let go of the bullshit, pull yourself away from what needs to be pulled away from people, places, things, situations, mindsets. This is what's this is what's waiting for you. I mean, I think that's pretty good. Beautiful energy for you this week, Libra. I really do hope that resonates with you. Thumbs me up, leave me a comment if it does, and I will see you all next week.